Today we're gonna to talk about a little bit of how to actually program that, what those workouts look like if you're trying to build your back, which complements all lifts, squat, bench, dead, overhead, doesn't matter, you want a big back. So we're gonna talk about building muscles. I'm a one pump chump, talk about intensity. Uh, we'll dive in, three, four exercises, a little bit of biceps look pretty, and our special guest. Miranda Cohen's in the house. Okay, this is actually a, probably a good scenario because actually the gym's really busy right now. So I'd say you'll get to see like how we like maneuver, I would say like without trying to get in everyone's way. Game, I gotta get creative. Yeah, that's right. Or I just quit and go home and eat. Uh, we don't fail. I'm sorry. We, we don't quit because then that means we fail. I don't start and that means I can't fail. If you All don't right. try, you All can't right. fail. Don't, don't fucking listen to me, okay? Like, there's a reason why I have five million. Biggest thing we're talking about hypertrophy, volume is a big piece that we want to gather over time, right? Progressive overload, like anything else, you want to add sets, add rep, or add weight over time. The most important thing when we're talking about building muscle is the intensity, how close to failure we get, right? So that means true failure, muscular failure, with good technique is numero uno, and that's why I'm a one pump chump, and I most only do one to two sets per exercise, move on, same exercise, body part, a couple times a week. Sets and reps aren't as important, any repetitions from five to maybe 12 is fine. So I'll do one day that's five to eight, the other day eight to 12, just to hit slightly different muscle fibers. Um, but you can build muscle at multiple rep ranges. I don't know how you train, but I do like one gimme set and then one set, crazy. One gimme set, what does that mean? It's like a baby warm up. Two and then one failure. That's what you mean. All right, yeah, I do like one and then one failure. Okay, can we do three? You can do as many as you want. They don't charge by the hour here, it's great. I am. I am. Kind, soft, giving, selfless creature. I know, it's, it's your cancer self. We're actually... I am. I'm like, tough, soft. So you're like a narcissist? Or no? no. You don't break You don't break hearts? Break what? You don't break hearts? No. You break mine. I just stick to myself. Aw, shush. Oh, damn, that's kind of heavy. I thought it'd be like a chin-up. I weigh 200, that's 200, I thought it would work. Slow down. Sorry I'm so explosive, coach. I'm just naturally fast. Yeah, the weight's too heavy, your ego lifting. Yeah. Sorry coach, I got a really big ego. I'm a power lifter. I know, I know, we get it. So typically I split up my weeks with that. Two hypertrophy days for back. One's a little bit heavier rep, five to eight, still close to failure, the other one's 10 to 12. And I typically like to vary the exercises. It's not week to week, but day to day. I have like an A workout, then a B workout. Um, all you want to do is get something a little bit wider grip. We're really working on those lats. Something a little bit more narrow grip, working on that mid back. Um, and then same with rows. Elbows a little bit higher, pulling to like nipple or chest height. I'm gonna work my upper back or elbows deep and long on a row. A little bit closer grip, and then you're kind of working uh, or emphasizing your lats. Okay, any the row, any pull down is going to work your entire you. back. We can put small emphasis on different muscles in the back itself. So all the biceps don't have like a direct function to strengthen powerlifting or strongman. You always want to stay as balanced as you can, and they almost have like indirect strength, where having just a little bit more cushion on the bench, a little bit more pulling right, so power doing, will never uh, hurt you. Yes, the biceps sport, aren't uh, a main mover in a lift. So that doesn't mean don't I train them. Um, and let's be quite frank, we all want bigger arms. Oh. It looks better, it there feels go. better. Sometimes really? it's just fun. There you go, four. Come on, come on, come on. Three, you got it. Yup, yup, yup. Come on, two. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more, one more. All you, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Easy. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, a little back and by. Um, so I do something similar to that like twice a week. I don't really compete in powerlifting anymore. You don't? No. I met and found you because you were one of the few early ladies I saw lifting big weights. Uh, I don't even know what year, but you know, we rewind six, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. And like deadlifting wasn't that cool yet. It was not. Especially for ladies. It was uh, not. Squatting yeah. a little bit, but still not as cool. Yeah. Um, and you were deadlifting, squatting really heavy. I know like your background's a little bit in that, like strength training, yeah. but how about now? I know you m talked about dabbling in wellness and things. How do you yeah. normally train? Uh, I would say I was planning actually on competing in wellness like in November of like this year. Um, I'd say like my social media kind of, uh, I'd say like it, it grew so much that I'd say we we still like can't keep up, yeah, I'd yeah. say. Um, Had we, to pivot the plan a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I would say there's always kind of like a, I don't even want to say like there's always like things that get in the way. I would just I would say that sometimes like the 
the path that I plan um, is never actually like what what happens. Yeah. Um, and it's like again, it's like if I ask myself like you know what are my goals, it's more so just. I like to actually challenge myself in ways where it's like, okay, well, everyone would, would you know, expect me not to do that very well. Or like, um, you know, the, the challenge is like, you know, how do I get to that next level, but like not in fitness. Right. So I'd say like, that's kind of like where, yeah. um, I'd say my mind is at right now. Yeah, and the energy goes. Yeah, and. Uh, Cause I mean, competing in anything, powerlifting or any physique sport doesn't yeah. directly like pay you. And no. obviously Bill's gotta get paid. No, you have no. a team around you gotta get paid. it's a lot paid. of money. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, traveling, bikinis, yeah. all that stuff. Coaches, Coaching, yeah, yeah, yeah posing yeah, less. Yeah, you need yeah. a posing coach, a nutrition coach, yeah. and a lifting coach. And, and blood work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would say the the one thing too for me is like I I now realize, I would say how dumb I was in my 20s because I would say- What are you, you know, now, 40? <laughs> okay, I'm still in my 20s. Okay, 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 I, okay, 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 okay. I feel like I'm like 55 mentally, I say this whole time. The wisdom, um, the wisdom was brought upon you. I, I, I don't even know about that, but um, I would say I always wonder, like, if, if I would have prioritized getting my blood work, I would say, like, back in, like, maybe, like, when I was 21, 22, I would say, like, I, I definitely feel like my physique would be different. And, like, gotcha. I say that because I would say now that I actually, like, represent Transcend, which is actually, like, a company you can actually get your blood work through, is more so just now learning about, I would say, like, the science behind your hormones and how it actually affects you physically. Yeah, yeah. I would say I just kind of feel dumb uh, because I thought it was, like, an annoyance. Um, I used to think, oh, blood work, it's just for men. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they have to like take steroids. Yeah, like, yeah or wait till you're like 50. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, just get a colonoscopy, yeah. your blood yeah. work. When your pee-pee don't work. I've worked so hard, I would say, like in the fitness space. And it's like kind of just like now it's like, all right, I've kind of like built my foundation off of fitness. And it's like, I, I enjoy that. But it's like also too, this, is, this will always be a part of me, you know, always. But I would say, I, I don't want, I would say like my content creation, I don't want that to like, I would say like just only be like what I do it for. Like I want to actually like be able to sustain the workouts and you know be able to sometimes do workouts where it's like you know I, I have my headphones in yeah. and I'm not like what what oh pose oh this and, and yeah. it's like sometimes people don't understand it's like you know you, everyone sees things from like a screen you know what I mean like they see it from their perspective but it's like you know it, it, it's actually very challenging to kind of like shift your brain constantly you yeah. know it's like okay focus my set you know activate your lats you know and then it's like oh yeah and then pose and then get sweatier like you're, you know you've been staying around too long and then you know don't talk to so-and-so it's like uh, yeah me and bar say all the time everyone says like uh do what you love and don't w work a day in your life and I, I think that's utter and complete bullshit it is because money doesn't just fly in like no it doesn't yeah like i don't know like i, I, don't I love know. fitness but i still got to do taxes i still got to find yeah. payroll i still yeah. got to get bills paid so yeah. like it, it, it always it's, does become work you can still love it yeah but it's still work in but some I'd sense say, so it changes your brain for i sure. would say i don't want the gym to be something that like I resent. Yeah, that and makes I'd sense. Say that's like, I would say I, I wouldn't say that I've, I've resented the gym, but I would say like, I definitely like have moments where I'm just like. Yeah, I mean, that's why I don't compete. You know, it's like, even like I, I took like eight months off of deadlifting and it wasn't because of like the resentment or it's not that. You guys broke up? <laughs> we got divorced. That's sad. And that's why I'm single. You, you and Sumo. Yeah. Sad. Well, well, you know what? I would say sometimes we have to learn the lesson over and over again. Yeah. Um, you know, let's say, we don't get to choose how long our legs are. Just like we don't get to choose other things. You yeah. Know? So. All right. Anyway. Excuse me. You're so disgusting. Ah, oh, you know, I was like, I was saying it, and I'm like, God, I, I gotta just roll with it now. You know what I mean? I gotta just. It's all about length. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, but you antagonized me. See? No, I didn't do shit. All right. But yeah. So, anyways. Uh, Maybe one day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would just say like that's. I took I took it off because it was just like it was the 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 energy drainage of warming up. You know, and then there's like a, a consequence to pay for being strong. You know, it takes a, f a lot of time. Yeah, so a lot it's of like, sleep, you know, a lot of pain. So I'd say, um, honestly, thank you uh, for wanting to do this with me. Of course, um, now it's time I'd to say, eat. Yeah, I'd say thanks for, I'd say you believing in me and also thanks for kind of just being someone that I like trust. Because I'd say like in a world full of um, users, I would say, you know, I've always kind of just like looked at you and I'm just like, you know, you're, you're so kind and like you're so like, I would say like very lighthearted. And um, like I swear to God, I knew in my soul you were a cancer. I Appreciate fucking it. knew it. I fucking That's what knew you said it. Lucas was. Yeah, yeah. I, Crazy I, I, Zodiac people, you know? She's, I, I yeah, knew, she's I talking knew to Jupiter or some shit. Oh my God, I fucking knew it though. But I'd say it's just, you know, you, you haven't changed up, you know? And I, and I would say I, I respect that a lot because again, it's like sometimes people start one way and then it's like you get sucked into the, the shit. And then it's like, oh, you, yeah. you're like, uh, uh, who, uh, and then it's like, when you look in the mirror, like who, who are you? Yeah. I so think they like, lose themselves too, yeah. Yeah. They, uh, you want to go fast, go alone. Yeah. You want to go far, go together. Yeah, that's right.
All right, and on that note, we are gonna go eat, so. We're gonna give him some California goodness, Korean yeah. barbecue, thanks for kicking it. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. Barber Brigade channel tomorrow. Yeah. If you guys wanna check out the shows, we're gonna do talk shows yeah. there. It's gonna be lit. I'm Salam Mike, Miranda Cohen. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, bye.